Hey, we're taking a look at the a trio of new Droid devices for Verizon Wireless, and we're starting with the Droid Ultra. This will be available August 20th for $199, and what we love about this is just how thin the device is. It's 7.18 millimeters, or 0.28 inches, and uh, not only is it nice and sexy on the side, but on the back you have this really cool Kevlar weave pattern, which has a nice 3D effect. And up top here you have a, a, a 10 megapixel camera, which is a vast improvement over what uh, Motorola had before. And not only that, you can activate the camera with a pretty nifty gesture. Just go back and forth like this in your hand, and you're ready to shoot. And you can press anywhere on the screen to fire, or you can press and hold down to start shooting. If you want to access the gallery, you just come in from the right. Let's try that again. You just come in from the right to access the gallery. And if you swipe up with two fingers, there's this new feature called Droid Zap. And you see that it's sending this out, and any other droid, new droid within a 300 foot radius, will be able to connect. So if we go over to this other phone, and this, this being the new Droid Max, we can swipe down with two fingers to basically catch that image that we just sent up to the, to the cloud. And within a few seconds, we're gonna see that image start to come in. So that's a pretty nif nifty feature to have. It's too loud to do in here, but a touchless control is another big feature of the new Droid phones. So if we go into uh, voice and settings, Touchless control is one of those things that you'll be able to do. And once you train the device, you'll be able to do anything from uh, schedule an appointment to ask for the weather and basically ac access Google Now without using your hands, which is really convenient for users. In terms of the, the main differences between the devices, we're looking at a whopping 3,500 milliamp hour battery on this guy versus 2430 for this. So you're going to have to decide whether you want the style or you want the extra long endurance. And what we love about the new Mini despite the fact that it's really compact, is that you're getting all the same features as their bigger brothers in something that's really one-hand friendly. That includes the 10 megapixel camera and the touchless controls and everything else. The other cool feature that you have is the wireless sharing. So you can actually look at wireless displays around you using Miracast to then stream your device. So uh, we'll actually show you what that looks like right now. So here we have this is the black version of the Ultra. And if we go out to this display, you can see that it's mirroring everything that I'm doing on this phone. And it's pretty quick too. And this will include everything from games to videos. So if you see, if we turn it here, the Droid is streaming what's on this device directly to your TV. And this will work with the $69 Neckgear box that, that Verizon will sell separately. So we see a lot of people taking advantage of this wireless streaming capability. And you can access that and a lot of other things right from this control center, including the Droid Zap. And you can add additional widgets to access everything from weather to battery life. So when you add it all up, the new Droids for Verizon pack a lot of features into very beautiful and thin design. And we can't wait to test them all out to see how long they last on a charge and how practical all these features are in the real world. This is Mark Spunow with Laptop Magazine and our first looks at the new Droid Ultra, the Max, and the Mini.